Welcome. Today I'm going to help you with Crowfall. If you're having any problems with frames per second or any kind of crazy glitching, a lot of times it's a problem with how your configuration is set up. So all we need to do is change it and correct it, and a lot of times this can take care of it. If this doesn't take care of it, I do have two more tips. So you're going to have three tips in all for this, and let's go ahead and just jump right in. The most popular one is going to be an issue with your boot config file. If you're not sure where this is located, go to Crowfall Live, right click, choose properties, and you'll see starts in and just go to this path where you'll get to the Crowfall client. Once you're there, you just want to go a little further. You want to go, you'll end up here. You want to go to download and then Crowfall client data. And then you're going to see boot.config. You're going to right click on it and choose open with and choose notepad. So we'll do notepad and then OK. So this is going to open it up and we're going to go ahead and minimize this and just show you this. So there are some settings you need to change in here and I'm going to show you easy way. I'll also have them in the description if you want to just copy and paste. It's going to be the last lines. So this is equal to zero. It should actually be equal to one. So we're going to go ahead and choose one and slice, time slice should also be one instead of three. So we're gonna change both of those to one and we're gonna also add a line here. There we go. Scripting dash runtime dash version equals latest. So again, I'll have this down below so you can just copy it. Then we're gonna do choose file and save. And we're going to choose all files and we're going to save it as the exact same name, not as a text file. So make sure you choose save as type to all files. And then you just want to save it. If you're having problems saving it, you may need to save it somewhere else. I'll put it on my desktop. And then I'll just put it here and replace the file. Make sure you have it closed first. There we go. Now we have it replaced. Sometimes it doesn't save in the folder. If it is able to save for you, then you're fine. Let's go ahead and just edit it real quick and just make sure one, one latest, we are good. But let's move on to solution number two, but this should fix and help performance low end and high end machines. Next, we want to go into advanced system settings. You can get there from control panel or you could just type it in and go ahead and click it. It'll open here. Once in here, go ahead and choose settings under performance. And then we're going to go choose advanced. Once we're in advanced, we're going to go to virtual memory and we're going to go ahead and choose change. Here you want to make sure your memory is set up correctly. If it is set to automatic, you want to make sure it's on the right drive. For me, my E drive is an old school drive, so it's not that fast, but my C drive is SSD. But because I have a solid state drive as my C drive, that's where I want it. If you're already set that way, great. But if you have it in an old drive, just change it. You can uncheck automatic and select it as you'd like. So you can see here, I have none, no paging file on here. And here I have it all managed on my C drive. So I'm good there, but you may need to change it. And if you haven't made any changes here, just hit cancel. Cancel and then cancel again. Finally, you can use a program to help maximize your computer and change all the settings for you. I am actually a sponsor of No Ping, and they will go through and let you download the software and try it out for seven days for free. And you'll know if it's working right away. You open it and it's automatically set to optimize your system.
I hope one of these three solutions was able to resolve it for you. If you did, please leave it down below. Let me know which one was. If it was one, the boot config file, two, the paging virtual memory, or three, no ping. Thanks so much for watching the video, and here are some others I think you'll enjoy.